Here's the nursery real quick. Here's a time lapse set up to catch our Gulf, Gulf fritillary emerge, which is any time now. And there's another Gulf fritillary up there. And this is the butterfly nursery. This is Flo, and she um, emerged from her chrysalis and fell straight to the ground. And we rescued her immediately with some paper towel to grasp onto, but her wings didn't form. One is shorter and pointed, and she's gonna live her days in here, but she's got fresh bananas and nectar and fresh flowers and a friend until he gets released after Hurricane Helene is out of the area and she is safe to fly. This is the adult nursery with just caterpillars and all of the chrysalises. Let's see, there's several in here. You just can't see them all. And then these two little buggers, uh, that one and there's one underneath. Um, I ordered some milkweed and they arrived on my plants. So I inherited some more. And there you have it. We're going to bed for the night after we watch the latest hurricane update. Good night. So this is the footage of um, how we're keeping track of everything. We've numbered them all, what dates they became, um, oh, actually the date that they emerged. And then we got the book open to the Gulf Fritillary because that's the one right here that's being, you know, photographed on time lapse. And then over here we've got where we've numbered them all and what time they became a chrysalis. Uh, and then the Gulf Fritillaries were separate. And then the ones that are up here, still over here. And then this is the um, caterpillar nursery with the new chrysalises, and this is us documenting them. So we're up to 30, 37, 37 so far, and there's between here, there's like 13. Anyways, um, that was part two. And then separately, part three, um, we started a, a bet for like who thinks which one's going to go first. Um, obviously, it's based on some of the stages of what we're doing um, between the different caterpillars. And we're in a stage now where there's a bunch of green, but not a lot of uh, dark coloring or their wings showing through yet. So we're in a, um, a little bit of a, a lull, but we've been betting on them and uh, the ones where are circled are me, the ones that are circled are Billy. I mean, granted, you know, I'm sitting here all day babysitting these babies. So that's part three of a night in the life of a monarch butterfly foster mother. Again, thanks Lisa, good night. much of these.